Hi guys, welcome back to Sim Racing Prey. Uh, I'm just wanting to show you this uh, particular race that I really enjoyed uh, very much. Uh, it was a skip bubble race series uh, in Zolder Circuit. Uh, I was having a very good racing aspect with like close battle racing, good overtakes, uh, and even like uh, a drag race to the end. So where I really want to show you guys uh, this particular race that, that was one of my best. And it was uh, even better when I was having a good race with my with my fellow buddy, uh, Lloyd Lachlan. So uh, he was he and me was like battling it out. Uh, we were trying to do I think we were doing our P five and six that kind of thing, but uh, it was just like we had a very good uh battle and respect with the drivers. So it's like in a way that when you have like good uh, good respect and you give enough room and you give enough racecraft to your, to your fellow drivers that you're competing with. You can have a very good race, and it's this time of thing like when you gotta plan out when is the best time to go for it and when it's not. But that's what makes the racing aspect a lot more interesting and fun, which I hope you guys will enjoy the race. And without further ado, uh, let's jump into the race. The and we'll be going green, green, green very focus. soon. Okay, speedy, stay calm, focus. Green, 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 green. green. So I had a pretty uh, decent start for the, the race and I'm just trying to make up positions. Uh, I'm starting in a P13 and I'm just trying to see like there's a lot of uh, <laughs> cars in front and then try to be safe, <laughs> giving enough room to everyone. And there was a guy at the back, I think he was, uh, he was more he was more hangsty to get past me, so I, I didn't really battle much, and I allow him to to do so. Where look at in front, there was one car that rejoined, and then I'm like, oh shit! And then I I managed to avoid that uh, <laughs> that uh, that near carnage. So uh, I'm still trying to to stay at the back. Now I'm uh, P8 at the current moment, going uh, smooth and easy for the for the, the lap one. Trying to survive it. I think we have a car on the right side now that has some damages, and yeah. And I'm trying to just put the car in, and then this happens. And I was like, oh, shucks. And I have to really. <laughs> it, was, it was fast when it happened, and then I had a slowdown for that because of me cutting that uh, chicken. So uh, I was trying to like reduce my time to slow down for the next two corners. Try to slow it more down, but uh, it's still not going down, so I had to definitely let some guys pass. And this is where I'm trying to slow down the car, and and I got I lost two positions because of that, and I'm back to P8 at the moment. And if you think notice properly, right, the one that uh had a had a uh, Lloyd was the one who who had a spin on that. Then uh, we were actually in the same Discord channel <laughs> where everything was happening. So I was like, okay, come on, come on, Lloyd, then you can do it. Because he has a very, very fast race pace, provided his car is not damaged. So, uh, and then, yep, and that's where the. <laughs> I was trying to stay with the back with these two. Not being too aggressive and just trying to be composed. And for that, I now am P6. We managed to survive lap 1. And staying behind him was also a good idea, but uh, was not so good because I, I think I wanted to overtake him. And uh, then I'm like, oh, that, that was like very close. <laughs> and I managed to, to put in here, put in, a, put in the inside. So I managed to now hold back my P5. I mean, I'm trying to bring up the position to P5 now. And this, uh, this left and right chicken was is is a must. You have to get it right for the correct line and exit for the speed. Mm. 
So technically, I'm now closing the gap for the P4 guy, Paul Bishop. But I'm not going to be making any hangsty moves. Because I think I, I'm looking at it like I think he has a very good race pace. And I'm just trying to just be smooth. And now at the moment, he's on my left side. We are going too wide. <laughs> so but I'm just trying to just take it slow. And going for uh, going green your space and I managed to hold it. And we will be like having clean, we are being very clean. And I managed to get my P4 position now. But he was like on my tail man, he was like all the way. Okay, just gotta do a smooth entry in and a fast exit out. And, and we're not, we're not like letting y'all know. I mean, now Lloyd is uh, currently at P8, right? At the position. Uh, wait till see, you see, he makes his way up. <laughs> And I, I think, you know, because I had a slowdown and I had a cup, uh, I cut a curb, right? I think I had a very bad uh, arrow for the front wing. I have some damage on that, which doesn't allow me to have uh, a good top end speed. Which uh, I was trying to struggle, but uh, at the end of the day, I was just trying to do my lines and do it right. So lap 3 seems fine where it was a nice Some thing So I'm starting on lap 4 at the moment I went too wide here uh, It was too wide and then the next turn I kind of did a, a small mistake where I went too wide the car was too under steering and I'm like, oh uh, shucks. And I think this one also caused my damage. Um, it like kind of aggravated the damage to the front wing. Where I, I let this guy take his position back and now I'm back in P5. So I'm trying to stay on his slip stream and he has his defensive line. <laughs> that was like kind of closing to me man. And that's why I had to like uh, break earlier. <laughs> But it was a good racing at the end, still. Just trying to stay on him. <laughs> uh, oh, the bump really, sc uh, really scared me. I mean, I, I could have lost the car if it was in the cold laps, cold tires, probably. I was actually thinking, do I go for the move now or should I not? And I was like looking at it and then I said, no, it's okay. It's not a good idea. I'm trying to use his slipstream to pull away from the guys at the back. And I think this is where the mistake I made, where I tried to follow Paul Bishop, his line, went for the outer, and my inner was uh, marked. Yeah, oh sorry, Mark was the one in front. So I think Mark got me for that uh, entry. So I think I should have uh, covered the line and blocked the defensive and allow him to go to the outer side. But you know, no, no, I mean, let's, let's see how it goes. And I was like, oh shucks, the mark nearly broke too early. <laughs> so I'm like, trying, okay, now I'm back to P6. And look at Lloyd uh, now at the back, right? He just uh, <laughs> did a good dive bomb for the corner, so now he's at the back of me. So I was just trying to stay with the guys at the front. 
not lose the, uh, their slipstream and <laughs> pushing it out. But I had a very bad corner for that. Still staying behind these guys. The leader's just done a 146.88. And there's a mistake. This was one that I was nearly clipped on him, but I was like, oh, shots. <laughs> he was so close to me. <laughs> and I managed to stay the inside safely. And we were like supposed to go three wide, but Lloyd, okay, pull it back. <laughs> So I managed to pull in. And Meloid managed to, to get a Paul Bishop. And now he's like chasing after me. <laughs> this is where the, the whole fun happens. And I think he had a very good uh, exit out. And I think he's going to do what he did. I did on that dive bomb in. So I know he's going to do it. And <laughs> yes, I gave him enough room. And yep, and that's where he got the position for P5. And I'm P6 at the moment. So the only thing I had to do was to stay with him. I'm really trying to just stay behind him. I was not actually not planning to do any uh, overtaking move. Because he has the speed, so I, I need him to, to get away from the guys on the back. So that I have no pressure. While also like learning his lines. See what is he doing different. But we didn't want to battle too much because I, I wanted him to catch the guy in the front, the mark. I was like telling him, okay, 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 Lloyd, go, go for it. Let's push to the guy in front. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's so fun, like, uh, having a good race with, with your own buddy. And you kind of like, like know how the way he drives and how well he, his lines are. And it's, it's very good. But I was trying to actually at the back I was trying to exploit something where this point we we're just trying to see where he's doing where am I faster and where he's faster. And actually especially that corner he's actually much faster for that, that sector. Looks like P1 has gone off in Xbox. Oh no, no uh, ignore that crew chief, uh, I think he was uh, a bit giving wrong information. Uh, no one really moved out from that spot. And this is where I made a slight mistake on my seat, where uh, the gap, he kind of pulled it away. I, I kind of losing the slipstream already. One minute, 48.8. Okay, Speedy, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Good luck. That's your quickest 
and there was like a slight mistake there and I had a very good exit speed where I, I was actually thinking should I should I go in because I was thinking like if I if I'm going to go in right uh, I have some damage on my front wing and he may be able to catch up on my speed with my slipstream so I think it's better for me to stay at the back <laughs> so yeah I, I did that with uh, the decision and let's see and this corner is where Lloyd had a mistake and I, I kind of capitalized on that and this comes to bring that a point that uh, he's 2.3 seconds at the back but he was still able to gain on me with me putting not uh, a, a, a decent lap time not say a very fast lap time and it was 2.5 seconds now at the back so I was right to do that decision to stay at the back of him to, the, to gain the slipstream so at uh, this uh, for the starting of lap 9 I'll be moving forward for the race until uh, he starts chasing back because uh, there was nothing much happening here and uh, the race is nothing fun here Okay guys, so the, we are starting our lap 11 where if you notice the, the lap Lloyd is just uh, 1.2 seconds behind me where he's closing in fast to me <laughs> and I'm trying to just put it as calm and, and steady with the car it's uh, one second now at the moment where I'm trying to find as much space or, or anywhere that I can just go faster <laughs> but uh, I, I'm sure that it, I mean it was definitely unsuccessful just making my breaks points and just not making uh, aggravated mistakes so uh, I couldn't really uh, pull away from him and I did a very bad sector on this <laughs> which uh, it has just capitalized on a 0 0.4 gap technically it's just on my S at the moment So uh, I was like thinking if he's going to make the move at the moment, but uh, okay, he, uh, he wasn't. So I'm just going to start you lap off very soon. Alright, Speedy, hold your nerve, just keep it One smooth, no mistakes. Point call. You entering the first chicane. Yes, crew chief, I was like uh, <laughs> trying to be as smooth as possible. <laughs> But he's just, uh, he was just very, very, very close to me. And I think I was being pressured at this moment where he has an inner line. And I, I couldn't, I, I have to, I have to give him screw for that. And then I decided to stay at the back from him and give him the position. And this is the time where I was trying to stay with him all the way. I'm never going to make the move, I'm just trying to <laughs> pressure him like I'm going to make the move but I wasn't. Then I, I realized that the guy at the back, a P7, Oxtin, was uh, closing up the gap so I, I didn't want to, to have a lot of uh, overtakes with Lloyd so that we don't lose time. And I just want to try to stay on his stream so that I can pull a, a, a gap at the back. Leader has just done a 146.70. There's an incident in Xbox. Looks like it's Bishop. So I managed to pull a 3 second gap at the back. Just by straight staying on his slipstream. 
and this couple of laps is where I try to see where I can make the move on him because it's way way faster. And I will have uh, two more laps and uh, this laps is like my I was trying to see if I can exploit <laughs> any form of uh, a pass but uh, a safe one I managed to have a good exit on on that la on that, on that chicken, and I had to like uh, uh <laughs> like really study his car and see where, it, how is it pulling so fast, and I decided to just try to stay on his ass as close as possible. One flag, today smooth. And I was like, uh, just trying to figure out which corner is the bad. I mean, he's taking it not a, a, a good line. And just trying to pressure him as much and uh, he was not falling to my pressure actually. <laughs> uh, ignore the crew chief, uh, no one went off. So uh, this comes the, the final lap where I, I kind of realized that there's only one corner that I could uh, make it right. And I was telling one, him that I'm just going to set you up for six, one six, try. Five. And I, I kind of had a plan in my mind when I'm going to try to make the move. I'm not sure if it, it's going to work, but I, I have no other uh, options because it's way faster in everywhere. So I just okay, had to speed stay speed as close as possible for my aim for this lap, for this final lap. Yeah, that's what crew chief says, but uh, he was not falling to any of my pressures. And I just tried to be as close as I get. This is what racing is about. Uh, sometimes it's just not about the winning. It's about how much fun you get with competing with with drivers in your, on your same skill level or even better than you. Uh, it gets a lot of... Uh, the adrenaline rush and the impact was just so good. I had to make this corner right. And I managed to do a, not a bad job. And I had a few more corners to go. And I was only thinking in my mind that if I'm going to make a move, it will be very soon. But I had got to be very close to him. And this is where he kind of like broke a bit more slower. So that uh, it's actually a very good race craft, but uh, <laughs> I had a contact with him with the zero X, and yeah, I was trying to. He was trying to reduce my speed out for the exit, so that he can have a better exit. And this was the only thought on my mind to have a better line here. And I managed to go into the inside, and that is where my pressure comes in when I was doing drag racing. I kind of upshift to fourth gear too fast, which I didn't manage to get him, but I had a uh, acceleration speed, but. And that was where I felt that if I had well, just uh, hold on to my acceleration for gear 3 and had a good shift for gear 4, I may have closed up the gap and I may have or I am not sure if I will get the P5 but that is what your racing is about. That's the fun that I, I always enjoy having close racing with, with, with anyone, everyone. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed that race. And yeah, I hope you guys, uh, uh, if you do like it, just give me a, uh, give a like, uh, do subscribe to my channel and just give me a comment on, on what, anything you think that, uh, I can improve on or something, but I really appreciate your support and everything. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys and stay tuned for more videos on, uh, iRacing for all this kind of racings and I just kind of enjoy it lah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, take care guys and have a nice one.